Okay, this is going to be a quick little uh, tutorial here on how to create a uh, or how to follow a Twitter chat. Um, I know there are several different resources and things like that, blog posts and things like that on on how to uh, what a Twitter chat is and how to follow it and things like that. Um, so this is kind of the purpose of this tutorial is to um, how you find Twitter chat. Um, and what it is. Um, kind of a little short story. When I was um, teaching ICT, um, I was kind of needed some resources on on how to uh, better enhance my teaching and how to find educational technologies, things like that. And I had a, a colleague at the time tell me, well, hey, if you've ever followed a Twitter chat. And I said, I had no idea what a Twitter chat was or uh, what a hashtag was. Um, or even because uh, I never even had a Twitter account. Well, long story short, he told me that's probably one of the best uh, professional developments he's ever had. And he kind of showed me on what a Twitter chat is, who to follow, um, explain what a hashtag is, and things like that. And so that's kind of the purpose of this uh, tutorial is for those of you who may be new to Twitter or don't know what a hashtag is or what a Twitter chat is. So anyway... Um, a few years ago, I got back into uh, teaching elementary physical education, um, which is my where my heart lies and things like that. And uh, it's kind of like, well, if, you know, there was people out there for uh, educational technology teachers. Is there a phys ed teachers out there who are on Twitter? And is there phys ed chats around and things like that? So, uh, and I found all kinds of them. Um, and so this, again, is to show some PE teachers. Um, what Twitter chats are and where to find them. So anyway, I'm logged into my, uh, this is my homepage for Twitter here. Okay. Um, essentially what a hashtag is, um, if you don't know what it is, it's a link. Okay. And it, this kind of comes from blogging. Okay. Cause that's, Twitter is kind of like a micro blogging, um, website. So anything that has a hashtag as I'm showing you right here, makes it a link so if I decided to tweet something anytime I put the hashtag to it hello yeah for instance like if I hit hello here just for a show okay that by making that blue it made it a link so anybody who were to search um, any that anybody who would search Twitter with that hashtag like hello you hit enter or hello for you, whatever comes up, okay? Uh, it's gonna take you to anything that has that hashtag or anything that has that link, okay? Um, and you can follow the top, you can go from the latest, you know, okay, who just who just sent this uh, um, post just now to people who constantly show that Twitter that hashtag to videos and more information okay so on that note for instance for purpose of physical education here when I got back into elementary PE I was like okay was there anything out there that has to do with phys ed so for instance I searched put in the hashtag I searched phys ed I hit enter Okay, and I'll wait for the internet to load here. So now, and this is where I came across. Like, there is all kinds. There's Twitter chats or people who have this hashtag. Okay, and it has to do with elementary PE. Now, how is that important to me as a teacher? Well, it gives me resources to maybe books, obviously. Um, People sharing their field day ideas, okay, um, maybe or articles or anything that that would go to my my teaching practice to make it better, okay, and um, and to help me out in my teaching. So, for instance, you can go to the top, okay, who, which is the most replied to uh, people with that hashtag. So it kind of gives you the best options here for people to follow who have to do with physical education or have that hashtag. Okay. So like I said, like if I go to tweet, okay, and I hit 
for the purpose of this, I hit test. And I tweet. Okay. Now we go to latest. And I hit refresh. Okay. Once it uh, sends here, okay. Once the internet loads here, it would show up right here. Okay. That my um uh, my post. Okay, so we're just going to go to this, go to my home here. Okay, so here's test, so it showed up, is it, click that link. Okay, and forgive me, the internet's a little slow, but um, it would take me to everything that has to do with is it. Okay, so like I said, it kind of makes it a link. Now, Twitter chats, what is it? Well, I'm gonna, for the purpose of this, I'm going to show a gentleman that I follow on Twitter who does, does a year-round Twitter chat, okay? And his name and it is his name is um, Craig Kemp, and he does a Twitter chat which he calls "What Is School?" So, like I said, anything that has a hashtag makes it a link, okay? So he on his blog here has what is school. So that is his Twitter chat that he moderates. So a moderator is obviously the person who is in control of the chat that day or who created the Twitter chat, things of that nature. So for instance, he posts on his blog, okay, the Twitter chat time. So for instance, Thursday at four o'clock PM Pacific time is when his Twitter chat is going to take place. Okay, and it's kind of like an online conversation. Okay, now, like a week in advance here, what he does for the people who want to follow that chat and learn new information or uh, have new ideas from people who are teachers from all around the world that's the beauty of the Twitter is that people you can follow this and talk to people in a totally different country and who teach the same content area you do, and so anyway. He posts all, he posts six questions for you to kind of reflect on before the Twitter chat starts. Okay. So when you are just beginning this chat, okay, obviously the first question he, when the Twitter chat starts, okay, he's going to post the first question. How has technology helped break the bounds of traditional learning? Okay. And then you would respond to that. Okay, but the biggest thing is, is before you, when you hit respond, when you respond your answer on Twitter, you have to have that hashtag on there. Okay, so for instance, if I, just for the purpose of demonstration here, so like if he posts that question and I wanted to respond to it, okay, if I wanted a response to that answer, I would probably, I would type in a one, which kind of means, hey, okay, my answer for question one, okay, I would type my answer to the first question, okay, but then obviously the biggest part of this which causes to, uh, for people to follow your response is the hashtag. So I have to type in what is school, okay, and then what is school. Now anybody who's following that chat at that particular time Okay, once I hit tweet, once I send that tweet, everybody who is participating in the chat at that time will see my answer. And then the beautiful thing is, is then that creates dialogue, it creates um, feedback to what you think, um, maybe they have different ideas, and it's just professional learning, okay? I'm just gonna discard that for the purpose of this. So, and the reason I chose this one, obviously, is because this guy, this gentleman does this year round. Okay, and here's all the different questions. And then the way they moderate it is they would send a tweet out. They would send a tweet out, like, for instance, if he was a moderator, he would go, okay, answer, like, question two, number two, coming in, let's say he would go two minutes, okay? 
forgive my spelling. Okay, and then obviously he would put in the hashtag again. And then that would let people know participating in that chat that, okay, you know, finish up with question one and question two will be coming so you can keep up with it. Okay. Now, when it comes to physical education, some of the best ones I found, for instance, um, was because I teach elementary PE, okay, I wanted to find one that, okay, because phys ed's pretty broad, like K-12, maybe I wanted to go to one that had to do with elementary uh, PE. So I typed in elementary PE chat, and I hit enter. And it took me, takes me, okay, to, well, it reloaded here, so now I can click, okay, is there people here who moderate it? Okay, and for instance, it takes me to the, uh, to this gentleman where it says founder of the ESPE chat. So I click his website and then this is an easy way for you to find, okay, well, when do they have PE chats that have to do with elementary uh, PE teachers, okay? And then this is his website and he'll have like, okay, here's upcoming chats, 2018 schedule, previous chats. So you can go and look at all the different topics that this person has talked about with other PE teachers around the world or in the United States who teach elementary physical education and you can learn from their discussion via Twitter to, to make your teaching better or give you insight to new ideas, new technologies, things like that, okay? So here's your different, and he says, okay, January Granite, okay, this was 2009's Twitter chat, okay, and here's the topic, who inspires you, what inspires you, so there's their three questions, so you would obviously, okay, let's say their first question was who inspires you, so I would go to my Twitter, okay, I would tweet my answer, so obviously if I was participating in that chat at that time, I'd write answer one. Okay, and you can do it in the form of however I go, who inspires me. I could I would have written my answer, my wife. Okay, she inspired me. And then obviously I would put in that hashtag, then everybody participating in that chat on January 9th would see that. And that's just professional learning. Okay, now uh, before we close up here, um, and this will be on my blog, one of the best things that people can do is download this app. What is which is called TweetDeck. Okay, so TweetDeck, what TweetDeck does is it gives you it gives you um, the Twitter chats that you're participating in in live form. So you just follow this hashtag, and then every time somebody's following it, it just posts up right here as the chat's going. So you don't have to constantly go all the way down on your main on your main Twitter page because if you're following this hashtag, you have to keep scrolling down um, and keep following. Okay, where who responded to question two? Who responded to question three? Where are we at? Okay, you can put it all right here on TweetDeck and just keep following. And then every time somebody makes a post, it just shows up right here in your tweet. So like say you want to respond to what this person said during the chat, okay, you can hit response right here. You can reply to them and then everybody in that chat would see it. So that's kind of, I know you kind of got a little long there, but that's what a Twitter chat is, okay? Um, it's professional learning. Um, I'm gonna have, uh, put this on, Twitter, uh, on YouTube and then embed it on my blog and then I'll have more information on different uh, Twitter chats that people need uh, that I suggest that I follow for PE. Um, and I hope you enjoy the tutorial.